Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial for the Texas Association of County Auditors Virtual Fall Conference. We will be using Excelvance and we want you to maximize your experience at the event. It is not a complicated software, but it might be new to you and we want to share the features. Please be sure to have Google Chrome as it is the preferred browser. First step is find your email invitation. You will receive it through your email that you use to register and it will come from Excelvance. Please do not delete this email and do not share it with others because it is your entry to the event and it is unique to you. So I'm going to walk you through it and I will look for my Excelevance um, email. It's right here. And this is going to look very similar to what you will be receiving. Make sure that you check that this is the time and the date of the conference that you're going to going to be attending. Uh, you might have received other Excel event invitations to other events, so make sure this is the one you want to attend for the uh, TACA Auditors Virtual Conference. This is going to look very similar to this ticket. It's going to have the conference logo. And in order to access the event page, you have to scroll all the way down to this blue button, View Event Details. Once I click on view event details, it will take me to the event hub. The event will open an hour before start time each day. And you want to click enter event. Once you click enter event, there will be a welcoming statement that you can X out of. And this is what you will be able to see when you access Excel events. Your navigation tool is going to be on the left hand side over here. Um, it's going to be, it's going to consist of lobby, sessions, people. Um, and this is the landing page. If there is a live session going on now, it will alert you by saying live now and it will tell you the title of the session. In this area, we will also place anything that you can download, such as handouts. Um, so it'll be appear in this box for every session that we have handouts for. You want to click on join so you can join the main page. You see here that the broadcast has not started. So when they're ready to go live, you will see the speakers here. On this page, you will also see the live sessions. You'll have the session's details and the speaker's details as well. Important things here, if you go to back to live sessions, you can find any handouts will be linked in this box. Other key features, um, you will notice that at the very top, there's a little calendar. That's going to take you to your meetings. If you want to get out of your meetings, you go back to the lobby. And I'm going to go back to join the session that's going on live. Um, the little, this little bell icon will announce when you have uh, an invitation from other attendees. And the people icon on the left-hand side will let you also know who is joining the session and who is joining the entire event. Now, a couple of things uh, that are important. The chat at the top can be opened and closed with this arrow. So if you click on the arrow, it will close it and you will only see the icons. Make sure you always have it open and you can open it by clicking the arrow again. Make sure you always have it open. This is where you can communicate with other attendees in this chat box. It is not a private chat box. You can, um, anything you post on here will be seen by other attendees. And so be careful what you write. You can also go and like attendees' comments and posts on here. And you can reply to them here, but they will not be private. The other feature that is important is going to be polls. For this session, we will not have any code words for auditors wanting to claim CE hours. What we are going to do is we are going to have poll questions throughout the sessions. Each session will have three poll questions, and most of them will not relate to the content of the speaker. The speaker will 
try to announce the polls when they open or the moderator will try to announce the polls when they open. But stay alert um, because sometimes we will just post that on the chats that a poll will open and the polls will be opened two to three minutes at a time. Um, we encourage participants to complete as many polls and, and questions as possible as the poll is the validation to the Texas State Board of Public Accountancy of your attendance during the session. There is no right or wrong answer, so it is just a validation tool. You can access the polls once the presenter or if you've seen on the chat that the poll is live, you can access that by clicking on polls. As you see here, there is an open poll. That means it is active and you can participate in it. So look for that little green dot open. You can select your answer and you will submit it. And you can also see what the other participants answered. Again, this is not right or wrong. It is just for validation. The other tabs, the people tabs, lets you know who is in attendance for that session. And then another useful tool is going to be the Q&A. If you have questions for the presenters, we encourage you to add them in the Q&A section. If you add them in the chat, um, one of the tech staff members will probably catch it and put it in the Q&A session so that it gets addressed. And it's as easy as typing your question in this box. You can send it privately to the presenter if you want to, or you can just submit it. And if you submit it, everybody will be able to see the question that you have and that you asked that question. Super simple. Again, we look forward to having you uh, next week at the conference. We're sorry we could not meet in person, but we want you to have a great time. If you have any questions, if you did not receive the email uh, invitation, please contact the tax staff before the event. Uh, we look forward to seeing you and we hope that you have as much fun as we've had putting this together. Thank you.